swords. Hey, look, it's my foot. Your comm link, sir. Where is it? Sir, you are the leak. What? You pocket dialed Galaxy Rumors and sent them a photo of your Death Star drawing. What? Hold on. Why do you have Galaxy Rumors on your speed dial? Uh. uh I totally saw the Emperor dancing the night away with three Twilight models. Uh. If you're wondering why you've never heard of Star Wars Detours, you aren't alone. Despite 39 completed episodes, this television series has been sitting on a shelf for over 10 years, having never seen the light of day. Join me for another episode of The Unreleasables as we uncover the history behind this missing animated comedy, and try to answer the question, why has a George Lucas-approved Star Wars spoof never been shared with the world? It's 2008. Three years have passed since Revenge of the Sith concluded the prequel trilogy. With that chapter of the saga seemingly complete, fans were left to wonder where George Lucas would take his historic franchise next. Surprisingly, he was about to embark on a journey far, far away from the traditional space opera we all know and love. Over the years, the Star Wars films had provided comedy writers with plenty of fodder, from Spaceballs in 1987, to episodes of The Simpsons and Family Guy, to Steve Odekirk's short film Thumb Wars The Phantom Cuticle. This got George Lucas thinking, who better to spoof Star Wars than its own creator? Not particularly known for his sense of humor, the button-down filmmaker decided it was time to throw a comedic curveball and produce a computer-animated TV parody, an all-ages satire of the Star Wars franchise. Lucas called his hypothetical television series Star Wars Squishies, a nod to the time-honored squash-and-stretch principle of animation. To make his comedic vision a reality, Lucas reached out to lifelong Star Wars fans Seth Green and Matthew Senrish, the creators of Robot Chicken. Premiering in 2005, the stop-motion sketch show gained fame for its adult humor. Perhaps the most defining aspect of the series was its trademark of putting larger-than-life pop culture characters into mundane, run-of-the-mill situations. Initially, Robot Chicken resisted poking fun at Star Wars, fearing a potential lawsuit from Lucasfilm. But they eventually took a playful jab at the beloved franchise with a now-legendary sketch. The Emperor gets the news of the Death Star's destruction from a highly emotional Darth Vader. Hey, hey, come on, come on, don't do that. Just, just, uh, look, I, you know, I'm just dealing with a lot of crap right now. Death Star blown up by a bunch of teenagers, you know, I didn't mean to snap. Lucas not only saw the sketch, but he actually enjoyed it. Green and Senrish didn't get a lawsuit. Instead, they got a working relationship with Lucas who gave them his blessing to make an entire comedy special dedicated to Star Wars in 2007. When Lucas got the idea to jump into the parody genre himself, he knew the two fanboys he wanted to hire. Green and Senrish leapt at the chance to enter the hollowed grounds of Skywalker Ranch. Working alongside Lucas, Green and Senrish were given two conditions. The series had to be suitable for all audiences while also being set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. Aside from those core rules, Lucas gave the creators a surprising amount of leeway for spoofing the Star Wars universe. The pair assembled a team of writers and recruited notable actors to provide the voice work, including Joel McHale, Donald Faison, Andy Richter, Felicia Day, and Zachary Levi. The series even brought on a few Star Wars veterans as cast members, including Anthony Daniels and Billy D. Williams. Squishies became detours, appropriate since the stories would be offbeat departures from the normal Star Wars tone. Green and Senrish embraced this light-hearted direction, infusing the series with their signature comedy style. 
The episodes were structured like a sketch show, dropping new and familiar characters into unexpected situations. I'm allergic to pepper. I'll just have water. Over a four-year period, Star Wars Detours underwent extensive development. The team managed to complete 39 episodes for broadcast. An impressive 62 scripts were written and ready to animate. The culmination of these efforts arrived in 2012 at Star Wars Celebration 6, where George Lucas himself joined the comedic duo to make the grand announcement. They unveiled a trailer for the upcoming series, which ignited fan curiosity at this irreverent take on the beloved franchise. Cartoon Network seemed the likely home for Star Wars detours since it was already airing Robot Chicken. But a little mouse intervened. Just two months after the announcement of Detours, Disney purchased Lucasfilm for a staggering $4 billion. With George Lucas now out of the picture, the new regime decided to focus exclusively on their own sequel trilogy. A satirical spin-off of the Star Wars franchise no longer aligned with the Disney vision. They wanted young audiences to discover Star Wars through the seventh entry of the Skywalker Saga. Despite two seasons worth of episodes, the series was shelved. Seven years after the announcement of Detours, the launch of Disney Plus sparked fresh hopes for the long-lost series. Fans naturally assumed that the streaming platform would be the perfect home for the show. But the animated comedy has remained locked behind the vault door. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Seth Green elaborated on Disney's reluctance to embrace the episodes. We finished them almost 10 years ago, and so there would have to be a bit of reconfiguring of the existing stuff to make it something that Disney Plus would release as a Lucasfilm offering. Green goes on to explain that there just isn't enough interest from the higher-ups at Disney to justify the effort. But the story doesn't end there. In 2020, one of the six-and-a-half-minute segments leaked online. Posted by a now-deleted Reddit account, the segment takes place at Dex's diner, first introduced in Attack of the Clones, and sees two bumbling bounty hunters attempt to rob the place. This footage drew a divided response, with some fans outright hating the juvenile humor, while others were much more receptive to the comedic spin on the Star Wars universe. I'll include a link to the segment in the description so you can judge it yourself. For his part, Seth Green seems to have made peace with the fact that Star Wars Detours will, in all likelihood, never be officially released. He's spoken fondly of his time working on Detours and the opportunity to collaborate with his childhood hero, George Lucas. While the show remains unreleased, Green's connection to the franchise lives on thanks to the voice work he's done for The Clone Wars. In the pantheon of baffling Star Wars projects, the notorious holiday special reigns supreme, while those Ewok TV movies are close behind. But Detours has carved out its own peculiar niche. This animated parody is an intriguing footnote in Star Wars history. Who knows, given the ever-changing entertainment galaxy, maybe one day the full series will finally make the jump to light speed and reach our screens. I'm Michael Cahill, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time. Uh...